Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of the Assassin's Creed set that is Revelations and Brotherhood, and Simeon is building out of the Gears of War set. Simeon, why don't you take us through your team? Yeah, I'm going to chainsaw jump through this team real quick. That's a... Uh exploitable bug in one of the gears for it that's all i really know about the game uh first up on team gears of war is it's mostly a locust team uh almost a locust horde theme team uh but first up you can't have a solid team without a general so i've got general ram uh nowhere on his oh dial uh, i think hc realms might have this wrong but he does not actually have the ram ability so Oversight there. Um, so just like Jeez. with the Halo set, these guys have the throw a grenade ability, which is a standard power action, can't be used with running shot or anything like that. Um, and then it becomes a range attack, and they add to the grenade pool. So if you want to hear more about that, watch the first couple seconds or minute or so of our last video. I don't really want to go back into the grenade pool thing, but... Uh, Anyhow, he adds three to my grenade pool. He has the frag grenade and the ink grenade. So this frag grenade does two damage. So a hit character in the target square is dealt one additional damage. So my main target will take three. Everyone around them takes two. And then each other hit character is knocked back from the target square. Uh, he also has the ink grenade for all you squid, whatever that is. Are you a kid or squid? Yeah, ink grenades. Um... That's still a game, right? People still play that. Splatoon? Yeah. yeah, they, yeah they, that's the name of it. Splatoon, I think. There's like, yeah. Uh, so the ink grenade does <laughs> one penetrating damage, which is pretty cool. Um, then I place a hindering terrain marker in the target square. At the beginning of my next turn, deal one additional penetrating damage to each character occupying the target or adjacent squares, then remove the marker. So... Uh, kind of like a similar thing to the Halo uh, Plasma Grenade, but I think this one's a little bit better. Then uh, he has a special speed and attack power that is the Grenade Scatter. When General Ram is given a move action, he can use a grenade as a free action after the move action is resolved. So a six, range, or six speed and then five range uh, grenade toss is pretty sweet. He has the Troika Blasts and Clouds of Krill. I'm assuming I'm just going to butcher whatever this language is. Uh, General Ram can use Penetrating Psychic Blast once per turn. If General Ram has no action tokens, he can use Smoke Cloud as a free action until the beginning of his next turn. At the end of your turn, roll a d6 for each opposing character occupying a square containing a hindering terrain marker placed by General Ram. And on a result of a 5 through 6, deal the opposing character 1 damage. He's got some leadership He's got some pretty decent reducers throughout his entire dial. Uh, Mid-dial, he swaps and no longer cares about range at all and becomes a blazing uh, crazy guy without wit and stuff. Um, and let's see. I think we're going to go with ODST. Clearly a Gears of War fan. Their name is ODST. He says... I hate this guy. We did a three-for-all for fun at 230 points, and one of the guys field hit him. Uh, he just says field him. Uh, we had to make a truce to fight this guy, and when we only had three pieces on the board that can hurt him, he's a big play threat if you don't gun him down. Okay, I could have picked Ooh, a had slightly broke, better comment. Uh, you really could have. But yeah, that's that's General Ram. This is what he looks like. He's got a cool Ooh. coat and a big old wow. gun. I think is what that Very is. Very strange looking gun. Yeah. Next up is Scourge. I imagine this is like the magician or something of the game. Uh, they don't actually have magicians, but he's got like a weird dual wielding <laughs> chainsaw, chainsaw bow yeah. staff. <laughs> he looks kind of like a magician. I have no idea. Maybe he's like a berserker dude. Clearly. So he starts with charge, 93 points. Uh, I will go into the Locust Horde team ability as well. So he also has throw, throw a grenade. He adds one to my grenade pool. He only has the ink grenade himself. And then his special attack power for half of his dial is chainsaw staff. 
Scourge can use Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Flurry. A single character can't take more than four damage per turn from Scourge's attacks. So I can't double up mm. on one character with my Flurry, really. I can't, I can't, yeah, I can double up on my Flurry, but uh, only if my first roll's real bad. Then next up is Locust Drone. So this guy's 34 points, 6 range. He's got Flurry and then a special defense, and that's all he's got. He doesn't even add to my grenade pool. What a putz. Drone of the Horde. Locust Drone can use combat reflexes and Mastermind. When using Mastermind, the damage can be dealt to any adjacent friendly character possessing the Locust Horde team ability. Um, so yeah, that's cool. And then... Filling out the team, I have two of the Locust Drones. Filling out the team is none other than Augustus Cole himself. Whoever this is, uh, 88 points, adds two to my grenade pool. He has the Frag Grenade, which I already said what that does, and the Smoke Grenade, which I have not talked about yet. This is place a hindering train. First it does one damage to the target and adjacents. Then it place a hindering train marker in the target square and up to two adjacent squares. Remove them at the beginning of your next turn. Characters occupying squares with these markers can't make ranged attacks. So, a little bit better than, like, a smoke cloud. So, Augustus Cole also has the Raven Gunner trait. At the beginning of the game, place a special marker in a clear square within ten squares of your starting area. When Augustus Cole occupies that square, his range value is ten with two targets, and each target he hits with a ranged combat attack is dealt one additional damage. Uh, mm. Pretty decent. And then uh, his bottom half of the dial is Thrash Ball Star. Augustus Cole can use Flurry when he uses a grenade roll. When he uses a grenade, rolls doubles and hits any opposing character with the grenade. Do not reduce the number of grenades from the grenade pool. So it's a weird combination of power. Wow, wow, wow. Close and grenade. My favorite combo of hero clicks power is close and grenade. Um, but yeah, that's that's team Gears of War, the coalition of ordered governments, the COG coalition, I guess. Uh, that team ability is when this character makes a ranged combat attack after actions resolve, it may make, move up to three squares as a free action uh, as long as you end your movement in either... Occupying hindering terrain or adjacent to blocking terrain or a wall. So mm -hmm. this is kind of like the cover mechanic in the game. You can run, shoot, and then as a free action, move three squares into cover. And then the Locust Horde team ability is this character can use phasing teleport. When it does, after actions resolve, you may knock back one adjacent opposing character one square. Uncopy. Ooh. Uh, so that one would have been really cool. It but would we're have. playing with the new rules, and there's no knockback damage. I can still knock people out of like stealth or something, maybe, but that's about it. Um, yeah. So, just so everybody knows, at the time of recording this, there are six rules articles up. We will be doing our best to try to play with all the new rules in Hero Clicks. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and jump into Team Assassin's Creed with none other than uh, Caesar. Borgia, Borgia, whatever, Caesar. this guy, he's got a nice beard, Caesar, not that kind of Caesar, although probably Italian, I imagine, <laughs> nine <laughs> times out of ten, more than likely, um, so he has a trait called Templar Grandmaster, Caesar can use Mastermind, each time he does, roll a d6, if the result is five through six, you may also remove an action token from this character, so that's pretty cool. And then he has a special speed power for his first three clicks, which is schemes within schemes. Caesar can use mind control. He can use it as a free action, but only when he targets a character who can use any of the following powers. Leadership, outwit, perplex, poison, or shape change. So that's really neat, nifty. Some free mind control going on there. And of course, if he is making a close attack with his free mind control, he will get uh, close combat expert triggering off oh, of it, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah so that's pretty cool. Attack. I mean, the damage will still yeah. so, uh, be instead of... It doesn't really matter what it is. Yeah. We'll give him a plus one to attack. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Templar team ability. Since he's the only one on the team that has it, 
Uh, when this character has one or more action tokens at the beginning of your turn as a free action, they can modify the attack or defense value of an adjacent friendly character plus one until your next turn. So that's really cool. I, I like this. It's super unique. Yeah. So I, I enjoyed it a lot. I wish I have more Templar people on my team. They don't have this team ability, though, which is a huge bummer. Yeah, that's a really uh, Next up is, uh, is, it really is, uh, Mario Auditori clocking in the big 70 points here. It's me, Mario. It's uh, the wrong uh, video game Mario with a mustache and wearing red, apparently, but still. Uh, so he has a special damage power for his first three clicks, which is once per turn. Mario may use either Outwit or Perplex. When he uses Perplex, if he has two action tokens, he may modify an opposing character's combat value other than damage by negative two. Uh, this is also really good. I sure do like me some negative two Perplex. And now he doesn't have to push to be able to use that ability due to the fact that there is no pushing damage, which is really cool. Uh, next up is the main star of the show, uh, Ezio here. He's clocking it at a, at a whopping, and I do mean a whopping, 130 points. Um, he's got a trait, which is Vanish. He can use Throw Grenade ability as a free action using the Smoke Grenade. When he does, the grenade deals no damage. Simeon already went into what Smoke did. It's also just the only grenade Ezio has. He also has a special cool. speed power his entire dial, which is actually made better by the rules. He can use Charge and Leap Climb. When he uses leap climb, he can use improved move. Sorry, when he uses charge, he can use improved move and ignores elevated terrain. Uh, when he begins his turn on elevated terrain and makes a close combat attack targeting a character on a lower elevation, the damage dealt by the attack is penetrating. Uh, that's really cool. I probably should have took that into account when I chose map because I did literally win map, but that's all right. Uh, Ezio does obviously have a throw grenade ability. Simeon already went into it. Uh, and he's our last guy with assassin's team ability. So why don't we go check that out? Characters who use team ability can use stealth when an opposing character, uh, sorry, when a close combat attack by an opposing character misses this character and the attack roll is doubles, you may place an action token on the, on this character and deal the attacker one damage. So if Simeon targets me with a close attack, he rolls doubles, but somehow misses with doubles. I imagine it would be a four a or a crit miss. Or like a four, yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, then I place an action token on my guy and then deal the attacker one damage. Not even one unavoidable so, or like one penetrating no. damage. It's just one. Um, so so really, it's just to trigger trade that. itself. Let's let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of the comments here. I think there was a funny comment by Scars is as whereas there it is. Give him in Dom and a couple clicks of three damage, and he might be worth 130 points these days. Uh, these days was back in 2012. Almost nine well, years you got. Ago. You sort of got half your wish. Um, it is. He does now at least ignore pushing damage in, in a way. It's not in Dom, but it is It is ignoring pushing damage. Scars of Zaz is, of course, uh, Hunter Smith, who used to be a host of Dial H for Hero Clicks. So hopefully, I don't know. There's, there's a little shout out for you, Hunter. But all <laughs> right, awesome let's get on to our... Yeah, just a little bit more work, and he might catch up to the 2012, the 2012 uh, characters that were floating around. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Bombardier, Bombardier, the Bombard, this guy, he's a real generic looking guy, he's 50 points, he's just sort of a dude with a, I imagine it's a grenade stick type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, hopefully a grenade. He has, he throw has a grenade. thermite. When did he has thermite. thermite, we haven't gotten, I, that's what I thought. Is that uh, he has a thermite grenade. correct? <laughs> I have no, isn't like the 17, 1600s? in this or is it even before that is it like the 1500s i mean uh, one of these Ezio assassins meets, pre-game Ezio meets uh leonardo da vinci at some point like he's friends yeah. with leonardo da vinci so whenever it right. was 16 so yeah 20s uh, is that's the huh. only time that leonardo da vinci was alive <laughs> just the 1620s There's um yep. very smart young boy yes. for his good job of good job Simeon. so you already went into frag right Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, someone else already... Okay, so Thermite is just destroy up to three squares of blocking terrain or walls adjacent to the target square and deals everybody one damage. He also does add two to my grenade pool, which is cool. He has a special damage power for his first three clicks, which is Mace Slam. Uh, the Bombardier may knock back any character he hits and does not roll doubles. Cool. 
Uh, after a move action resolves, Bombardier may be given a close combat action as a free action, but only to attack a character that he knocked back the previous turn. So he's got some really interesting stuff. If he hits you, no matter what, it's basically just like if he had like the knockback key phrase, pretty much. Uh, he will always deal knockback, whether he rolls doubles or if he just hits you, which is cool. And then when he moves next turn, if for some reason he doesn't have charge anymore, because uh, you're not going to knock people back more than three squares nowadays. Rip. Very sad. But it is at least three squares, which is more knockback to give the Bombardier some room. But yeah, so he's kind of neat. Let's go ahead and jump into the Vanguard here and uh, we can get on with the game. Vanguard, she's just lady with an axe. Yeah. Wowee. Amazing. Uh, she has hatchet strike for first four clicks of life. Once per turn at the Vanguard, makes an attack roll and hits with doubles so once again all these doubles people must have thought you rolled doubles way easier back then for some reason but whatever she may choose to not knock the target back and after resolutions she may make another attack against the same target as a free action potential for three attacks in one turn really cool big fan big fan of the vanguard but yeah guys that is going to be uh team assassin's creed Brotherhood, and then Team Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations, which is pretty neat. All right, so I won map roll. I've ever so nicely named all of my people. I'm like the savage human being that is Simeon Bruce. Didn't name any of his people. We are playing, if you notice, this map is much smaller. We're playing on the airfield map from Crimson Skies. Don't really know what that is, but Assassin's Creed and Gears of War didn't have oh geez i just realized cog gears of war that's pretty clever that's pretty funny yeah wow it took me <laughs> took me a hot second to realize that uh anyways they didn't have maps so this is the map i chose this is where we're gonna go uh 400 points uh let me make sure i want to put my little grenade pool ezio has got one grenade the bombardier dude's got two grenades i think that's all i have for grenades oh yeah what do uh, I see General Ram has three, which is my most. Scourge added one. The drone added none. And Augustus Cole added two. So I have a total of... That's six. Okay, simple maths. Uh, yes, I will just make a generic something or other here. Um, we'll go with this thing, and this will be my grenades. Six. Beautiful. There we Beautiful. go. Beautiful. That's definitely not the question. My grenades are three. Definitely not. Definitely not. I'm putting on objects. I, I can already tell these guys are like really going to need it. They're really <laughs> going to need it. All right. <clears throat> cool. Cool. Uh, let's do that. All right. Sweet. So Mario and Ezio both have assassins, which is huge uh, for my team against Simeon. It's just real big. Um, and also, they just sort of ignore hindering for movement. So it doesn't uh, affect us at all. It wouldn't have affected Ezio anyways. But now it really doesn't affect us. So... Let's say oh, this is such a small map. And of course, the starting areas are even like further out. So this really, um, yeah, this is a really tough, this is a really tough choice. I don't think I want Mario to have that. I think I'm going to give it to the Vanguard lady. Um, yeah. Mario's got three damn. What is this? That is my the white special square. Special gunner square. I have uh. to put it within 10 squares of my starting area and something clear terrain that's for augustus cole mm. it's like his last laugh marker except he gets 10 range which on this map is the whole map so nice nice I'm going to make it my grenade marker I'm going to say you got three grenades in the pool all right sweet we're going to Ezio he can move eight squares which is cool, which is nice. Um, I don't... How many of you guys have charge? I don't think any of you guys do, right? 
Uh, my double chainsaw man, Scourge, starts with charge. Eight oh, double charge. chainsaw guys got charge. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we can move up pretty far. And Etsy will pick that up. Feeling pretty confident. You don't ignore hindering train when you use throw a grenade, right? Just characters? Uh, for throw grenade, yes. You ignore characters. Um, the exact wording is uh, you choose a type of grenade listed on this card. Choose a target square within five squares in line of fire, ignoring characters for line of fire purposes. Make a ranged combat attack targeting all characters occupying or adjacent to the target square. So I don't know if... Mm. I don't know if you get the hindering bonus, but I also don't think that since I'm not targeting you, I'm targeting a square. I don't think stealth works against grenades. Right. Well, I'm going to look at it this way. General Ram has a 14 square reach. Um, so he's going to throw grenades at us no matter what, period. So <laughs> we might as well just get all up in that business. I'm going to perplex up Ezio's defense with his uncle Mario. Uh, let's have Caesar. Caesar! Move up seven squares as well. And then let's get the bomb. Let's get the bombardier guy in there. And that bombarder guy, pick that up. See how it goes. Make sure the. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a bit more on my map. I don't need to have it so far out. All right, some minutes here go. All right. Let's let's see. I've got four squares and then giant reach of three with my chainsaw thing. No, just kidding. Whoa, do you actually have giant reach three? Was I just I not really, paying attention? I really wish I did. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I was only off on Leonardo da Vinci's uh, lifespan by about 200 years. So. Um, Oh, nice. Yeah. Was it the so, 14s? Is that what we were looking at? Yeah. Right. So we're around that time. we really looking like a couple of failed uh, history <laughs> guys yeah, here. Yeah, born 1452. So that's approximately where Calder's game takes, or Calder's team takes place is about 1450s to, I guess it'd be like 1470-ish. Uh, right. And then in mine, your game, course, in this horrible alien apocalypse, yeah, this is twenty twenty two, probably. Yeah, like in the near future, um, when we start strapping yeah. chainsaws to our weapons and fighting <laughs> aliens. Uh, <laughs> yes, so I don't ignore, or I do ignore hindering for movement nowadays, which is pretty sweet. That means uh, Augustus Cole can move six. And he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite there. Um, but he's going to make a valiant effort to go over to his square. And maybe do something next turn in there. Um, that'll be his thing. Uh, General Ram. I do have my phasing knockback thing which is so tempting to it to just try even though there's no knockback damage um we'll start with scourge scourge what's his name scourge scourge, scourge. <laughs> i was so scourge. close wrong vowel every time uh scourge will just move straight up he's kind of a close combat piece so he'll just do that um General Ram, do I want to? I think yeah. I think I'll attempt to do. I'll re remove one of my grenade pool. Bring me down to five. So, I'm gonna use his special speed power, uh, 
give him a move action and I can use a grenade as a free action after the move action is resolved. So he's got a whopping six speed. I can throw a grenade. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we'll we'll go there with him. And now that that move action is resolved, I will... Uh, let's throw my ink grenade. I haven't had an ink grenade before. So it'll potentially do mm. one penetrating damage to the hit character and the targets around the hit character. And then uh, I will place a hindering terrain marker in the target square. At the beginning of my next turn, I deal one additional penetrating damage to each character occupying the target or adjacent squares. And then remove the marker. So... I'm just going to copy this thing and put that right there. And uh, he's got a 11 attack top dial, so it'll be an 11 into your defenses. Awesome. That will hit Oh, awesome. That uh, hits 18s. 18s? Oh, it's an 8. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's going to hit everybody. So we all take one penetrating damage. Yes. Not super effective, but... So that'll be... Uh... Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, what is my... My little locust drone guys can go seven. So we'll have this guy go one, two, three, four, five, six... And we'll have this one go one, two, three, four, five, six. Why did their defense power seem like Locust Drone can use combat reflexes and Mastermind when using Mastermind? The damage can be dealt to any adjacent friendly character that possesses the Locust Horde team ability. Why not the keyword? Strange. I don't know, but it works off of the keyword. Is the team ability copyable? No, the team ability is that can maybe be something. No, <laughs> so yeah, they would also share the keyword anyways. I don't know why they chose team ability instead of keyword. Very weird. Hmm. Mm, very weird for the the five characters hmm. in the set. Strange that they were yeah. very specific about it. Yeah, uh, that's everything I can do in a single turn. Okay. So, uh, old Caesar, you just got to get out of this thing. But at the beginning of my turn, I get to choose a character to modify their attack value plus one or their defense value plus one. Since I have an action token with the whole Templar team ability, and since Ezio's attack went down, we'll go ahead and bump it right back up. So, Ezio will be back up fighting at a 11, which is nice, I suppose. Let's go ahead and see. Ezio just has some outwit, which is cool. He's still holding that object. He can try to get some quote-unquote big damage off um, and see what we can do here. Right now, next to Scourge, not uh, not the biggest fan of this Scourge gentleman. Uh, even if he does only four damage to me, that is still quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to outwit Scourge's super senses here. Oh. And let's have Mario. Do you want to perplex up? What's your defense value on Scourge? Uh, 17. 17. We're an 11. We need a 6. Um, yeah, I think we're going to perplex up Ezio's attack value just in case. And we'll have Ezio be a 12 for 3, swinging his light object. Mm, that will hit in spades. Nice. Will. Delete. So he's yeah, dealing how much damage? Three damage. Three damage. Okay, so I'll go to click four with Scourge. Uh, on click four, Scourge still has super senses with a 16 defense. Uh, still has his special chainsaw staff attack. But it's only a nine attack on that mm. click. I think uh, we're going to have uh, Mario here try to finish Scourge off. Uh, he's a 9 attack, 
with blades claws fangs. Mmm. Big old miss there. That's rough. Ugh. That is rough. All right. He already chose to use perplex this turn, so that is where he is at right now. Um, do I have to roll any breakaway to get rid of this uh, marker under no. C's there? Here? Uh, no, I'm just making sure cool. the ink. It's hindering terrain, which doesn't modify movement anymore. Um, target square, beginning yep. of your next turn. Nope. Yeah, you can just get away from it. All right. So we're going to move like this. There's a special tool to show how we move, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, like that, since we just ignore hindering terrain. Um, and then you have leadership on General Ram, so I'm going to close mind control you for free. How? Uh, we might as well just move dare here. You. General I know. Ram is. I know. That'll be an 11. He's got a 16 right now. Ooh, a good solid 16 defense. Uh, let's see if we can roll a five. Mm. Nice. It was close to almost not a five, but nice. Alrighty then. So with this, General Ram, what are his stats looking like? He's uh, like an he's 11, right? An 11 for three uh, with eight range, six speed. Okay, and I, I got to move him a whole three squares. <laughs> nice. Let's we can go one, two, three to here. He could punch that guy. He's got no vulnerability though. Um, this guy still doesn't have super senses, so let's just move him here, and let's have him try to punch the uh, whatever guy. All right, he needs a five. Chainsaw staff man. That will hit. Ooh, big ten. Uh, scourge is on click four. So he'll take three damage, and he'll be on click seven. Mm. Still kicking, darn. Darn, 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 darn. All right. Does he still have super senses? I mean, still have outwitted super senses, or does he have something else he now? He has toughness now. 15 with toughness, uh, okay. perplex with two damage, and blades with an eight attack. Let's see if my bombarder is to get up in that biz nasty. Um, he does have his mace slam, which is cool. All right, well, with a nine attack, one, two, three. He could throw a grenade. Let's see, one, two. <laughs> no, no, I don't think he will. Do I, I don't think I ignore friendly characters with that, right? You just ignore characters. So, yeah, for, that's going to hurt a bunch um, of people. You line of fire. For line of fire, yeah. Uh, character. Uh, so I mean, I guess if I ignore characters for line of fire, I could choose like this square, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. We'll throw a grenade with that square. Um. Oh, and Bombarder has freaking willpower, and I forgot to roll for willpower. What an idiot. Let's uh, let's do a frag grenade. It just seems like the best way. So, uh, hit characters target squares dealt one additional damage, and then each other character is knocked back from the target squares dealt two. So let's make the target square two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, we, we got to make it this guy so he gets the big three damage. So we're gonna subtract one from my grenade pool, down to two grenades. It is a nine on everybody's stuff. Ah, man, all the cool attacks. I roll threes. <laughs> Rough. That is rough. He'll get a second token. That is going to be four actions uh, for my squad. It is your turn, Simeon. All right. Dang. Hot dog. Since good old General Ram Waiting for some people to... was not hit by that grenade, he does still have... He's still on click one, and he still has leadership. So I'll roll my leadership first. A two. Okay. Um, I have a lot of options. So my, my two... Locust drones both have flurry. Uh, oh, I guess my mm. ink. Uh, That's not good. I deal one additional penetrating damage to each character occupying the target or adjacent squares, and then remove the marker. Uh, okay. So those two take. So we'll go down to three. Damage. I guess they'll both go to three. I will move Augustus. Yeah, elite climb no longer gives me the plus two to break away, so there is no reason for me to try to move. I guess. That's true. Uh, I'll move Augustus to his 
actual square. Um, mm. Mm. Double check, Augustus. Okay, yeah. No, there wasn't really any good, amazing things. So in that square, um, so within 10 squares, my starting area, uh, when Augustus Cole occupies that square, his range value is 10 with two targets, and each target he hits with a ranged combat attack is dealt one additional damage. So if I split and deal like two damage to one and one damage to another, um, they each take an additional one, I guess. Uh, we will just flurry. I think we'll start with Mario, um, my first Locust Drone. There mm. are nines for two, so uh, not doing a whole lot. But Thank goodness, Mario, Mario does have combat reflexes, the 16, so you will need to roll a nine okay. to hit old Mario here. Well, that is unfortunate. That is, um, yeah. that is, that is unfortunate. Uh, how much damage does Mario take? It does two damage, and I will choose not to deal knockback. Two, so he goes... But he Quick has five. the assassin's wow, nice team guy. ability. So if that misses and you right. give Mario an action token, you can deal me one damage. Right. Two things I can't do right now. Uh, number one, did not miss. A 10 does not miss. And then... Yeah, <laughs> I don't have uh, any free spots to give myself an action token, sadly. Yeah. What a great team ability, though. Um, second attack just on great, Mario just as well. Stellar. Is he still a uh, combat reflexes? No, he does not have combat reflexes. He has, He's a normal 16 toughness here. So he needs to roll 7 or higher to okay. hit. 7 or higher. Dang. Wow! Yeah, that is uh, that's gonna be Mario. He's gonna be dead. Coming out in spades. Um, no, my, Mario, Mamma Mia! My other Locust Drone. Uh, before I attack Ezio, I'm gonna perplex his defense down with Scourge. Ooh, um, Ezio's terrified. And then I will flurry with my other Locust. He's down drone. To, a, to a 17. Okay, down so... to a 17. Ezio does have super senses, which is nice. I'll need an eight with these attacks. Five will not do it. That's for a total of 14 attack. And second attack. Uh, that will hit, potentially. Ooh, that one will hit. Uh, Ezio, big super senses roll here. Five, that'll miss. Two damage, goes to click five. And then two damage. And then... I guess Scourge will just attempt to... With his amazing eight eight attack, two damage, he will attempt to blades you. I don't know the way you've been rolling. Would uh, not surprise yeah. me. If I get another eleven, uh, that'll hit a fourteen. Ah uh, no, that will that will miss. Thank okay. goodness. That's my first four actions. I only have one left mm. with General Ram. Um, Ram. what's good old Caesar have defensively? Caesar is rocking a 16 combat reflexes, I do believe. He's on click two. Yeah, 16 combat reflexes. Okay. I will use General Ram's Troika Blasts and Clouds of Krill. So, uh, actually, mm. it's the Troika Blast. Uh, it's Penetrating Psychic Blast. And then I can't use the other thing because it's once per turn if I have no actions, Smoke Cloud. Um, so, yeah, he's just shooting. Uh, an 11 in okay. two. Uh, your defense plus one because of the hindering. Because of hindering, yeah. 11 to a 17, technically. Oh, boy. Ah, that oh, that will hit. Steal three for three? Damage. Yes. Takes me a click five. And Ooh. that is everything this team can do. Um, yeah, I'm not using the Locust phasing Force Blast one square power very effectively. Yeah. And also, I can't even remember what does the Coalition of Ordered Governments do. Uh, ranged combat attack. Oh, yeah, that's the one where I can move after I do a ranged combat attack, which I have not yet done with that guy, so... Looking forward to it.
Hmm. All right, then. Let's... Yeah. Let's go ahead. Be in turn. Roll for willpower. Darn. What a shame. Cool. Uh, let's get the Vanguard moved up. One, two... What is her speed, anyways? Mm, big seven. Should go there. Picking up the object. And then we're going to clear everybody else. You don't want to free mind control me again? I do not have that power anymore. Uh, Otherwise, yeah, I definitely would. Oh, good, good. Um, let's see. All I can do this turn is roll for my leadership. So I'll start with that and see if anything happens. Ah, no. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything other than... Um, Scourge will perplex up his own defense to a 16 with toughness. And everyone else on my team has to clear. Okay, sweet. Um... I don't think Ezio's power set, I mean, it has changed. It just, it does not change um, amazingly for myself. So let's go ahead and have little miss, uh, what's her face? Vanguard, go ahead and swing on the Chainsaw Man. Try to kill Chainsaw Man this turn. She'll be doing flurry. Ah, uh, that will Ooh, hit my hits a 19 defense. for two damage. Ah, uh, that is enough to delete Scourge from the map. Ooh, thank goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and have her finish the flurry on this drone. Ooh, doubles. Oh my gosh. Wow. We get to do her thing. Uh, do you have super senses? Uh, he's got a 17 after his combat reflexes. I do not have anything other than combat reflexes and mastermind Ooh, that just barely hits a 17 just barely i mean right on the money hits a 17 that's insane that'll hit for two damage and then luckily uh the vanguard has a special damage power it says once per turn when she makes an attack roll and hits with doubles she may choose to not knock the character back to not knock the target back and after resolution she may make another attack against the same target as a free action Oh, wow. You, or You didn't think that power would work. No, I didn't. But here's also the thing. I think I would probably rather knock you back so Caesar can flurry, steal energy you, to be honest with you. Um, because the other way I had planned for knockback doesn't work the way I wanted it to. So yeah, I think we're actually, we are just going to knock you back. Sadly, it's cool to have like the power work. We're just going to knock you back instead. Uh, so that way now Caesar can flurry, steal energy on this guy uh, really quick. Does Ezio have anything cool at all to potentially help me? I don't think he has outwit anymore. He is on exploit weakness. Very cool, Ezio. Thanks for nothing. Can't make range attacks. That's not terrible. That is not terrible, Ezio. He does get a free action. Mm, not terrible. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's just have Caesar here uh, try to flurry. Try to flurry this kid. Um. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, he's a 14 with combat yeah. reflexes now. All right. Need to roll sixes. That will wow, definitely That one will hit. hit. How much is All he All right. Dealing? And then the second attack. Uh, he does a big, what is it? Probably two damage. Sees uh does two damage, yeah. Okay. On and then five, the second attack, he'll heal up. Uh, all right, very nice. Oh probably not gonna hit a thirteen, huh? Uh no. I have a fourteen 
and then combat reflexes. So I'm at 16. Always with this. I'm on. I'm at click four now with Caesar. Cool. All right. Ezio. Let's see. He can use throw grenade ability as free action using smoke. When he does, grenade deals no damage. Smoke is placed in a train marker in the square, in the target square, and up to two adjacent squares. Remove them at the beginning of your next turn. Characters occupying these squares can't make ranged attacks. So Ezio is going to use his quick grenade as free. Um, and he is going to choose, I guess we'll just do this square here. And we're going to play some hindering terrain. Can he shoot while based? Ah, that's, good. that's a good thing. Um, yeah, no, he cannot. Since throw grenade is power action, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he can't do it. All right, cool. Never mind. Uh, we tried. So many tabs open. Ugh. All right, cool. Well, Ezio tried. Let's have Ezio. Man. That leap climb charge sure is cool if, you know, it allowed me to have plus two breakaway or straight up ignore characters. But since it doesn't anymore, it's kind of useless for me. Ezio, Ezio, Ezio. You're a nine attack, swinging against 17. You need to roll an eight to hit, which is awful. So let's go ahead. Let's throw a grenade with the bombarder again. Another another try here. Gonna go down my grenade pool, down to one. Same thing, gonna target his square. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, see what happens. General Ram. Ooh, ooh. All right, big 10. Big 10. All right. That will hit. That should deal Ram. three. In general, you will and then uh, reduce it by two because of its invulnerability, and then locust yeah. uh, swarm man is going to take two, going to click three, and he's knocked back, I believe. Yeah. Uh, does it say? Yes. Does it specify how many squares? Direction. Uh, well, knocked back from the target square, so. I guess knockback is always three. It's going to be so three. One, yeah. two, three. All the way over there. Hey, that's pretty good. That's actually super helpful. That's awesome. Good job, guys. That is exactly what Ezio needed to be away from these weird people. Nice. So now he can charge exploits. General Ram now has what? Uh, on click two, he now has a Instead 17 of, impervious. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's much worse. That's much worse than invulnerability. Very cool. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to charge exploit, hoping for the best with Ezio here. Um Leap Climb. I guess I'll just go there. Huh? Is oh uh, could go there and be adjacent to two of these guys. What's this dude's attack value? I just want to stay in stealth. Seems like the Which guy? The the gunner guy, uh, uh, not the gunner. the The one that I hits the locust drone. The locust drone. He is a nine for one. The one that's severely damaged okay. is a nine for one. The one that you just hit, sure, is we'll just... an eight for one. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll just go there and we'll try to exploit weakness on General Ram here. Need some big numbers. Uh, I have a nine attack that will hit a seventeen. That will. Yes. Getting, getting very lucky. For a big, I believe, two damage with Ezio. Yes, big two damage. He's a two. With exploit. His whole dial. So I'll go With exploit, click. which that's the Four. big thing. That is the big thing. Um, so that's Ezio, that's Caesar, that's Vanguard, and that's the Bombarder. That's everybody. So it's your turn, Simeon. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, so I no longer have my... Very cool uh, leadership power. But I do still have mm. the once per turn, if General Ram has no action tokens, he can use Smoke Cloud as a free action until the beginning of my next turn. At the end of your turn, roll a d6 for each opposing character occupying a square containing a hindering terrain marker placed by General Ram, and on a result of 5 to 6, deal the opposing character 1 damage. So I do have that free smoke thing. Um, I might as well pop some smoke down. Uh, let's see. 
Oops. That'll be my my smoke. Since it's free, um, and smoke is four squares, is that right? I believe so, yeah. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. We'll do that. Um, he's still in 11 for three. Uh, what's Ezio rocking? Oh, he's in stealth still. Yes, which is very helpful. He has super senses. 17 super senses. In smoke cloud, it'll be a negative one defense, though. Okay. I have a plan here. Let's see. My locust drones are kind of dead in the water, but they do have one last trick up their sleeves. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. So the first one has six speed currently, and the other one has six speed with flurry. So um, the one that's down lower has the flurry still. Let's... there and there yeah so we're gonna have this one phasing teleport to here mm. with my team ability uh, so I'll phasing teleport and then when I do after actions resolve I may knock back one adjacent opposing character one squares mm. so I will I will knock so you can do to there which well, takes him out of the smoke thank plane. goodness for Ezio. They haven't changed charge yet, and he has charge, uh, which is awesome. So he'll ignore the knockback, luckily. I will knock this lady to there. Does she also have charge? Or you can do something else. Uh, she does not. She just has flurry. Okay. I'll, I'll knock her away from me a little bit. Um, okay. I don't... Man. I guess I could knock your bombardier so that I can try and dual target some people. Uh, we'll do that. We'll have this locust, uh, locust drone phase to here and knock your bombardier one okay. square. And I think I've got two clear line of fires now. Well, clear-ish. So that's through hindering terrain, but does not clip corners so looks good there yep and yeah. that one's just straight on so finally uh augustus cole can unleash his ranged combat expert which makes him a 10 for three um and yeah that's it i'm just a 10 for three with 10 range uh so yeah all right <laughs> he's honestly not that much better shooting at <laughs> the bombardier is a 17 going to be an 18 and then the vanguard is going to be 17 super senses okay 10 for 3 let's see what happens a crit hit you say ah no it'll be a 17 ah, that will, will just hit the vanguard uh, she gets to roll super senses get lucky maybe oh, she did okay. got very lucky alright nice sorry okay. Mr. Cole he certainly tried. There's a lot of setup for that lack of anything. Um, let's see. What does Mr... Is that Mario? What does Mario got going on? Oh, no, it's Caesar. Caesar, what does he got? Mario is dead. Yes. Caesar. Uh, Caesar. Uh, he has a whole 16 with nothing for defense. Okay. Um, That's yeah, it. Yeah. General Ram will just attempt to punch Ezio. So he is a All right. 11, I believe. Yeah, an 11 for 3 still. Uh, oh, that'll definitely hit Ezio right on the money. Yep, right on the money. Uh, he'll get a Super Senses roll. See if he can make some more magic happen. Nope. For how much? For 3. 
three. Let's see who's going to click eight, where he is dead. Where he is dead. <laughs> that is what. That is where Ezio we're where going to. <laughs> All right. That is... All right. Well, that's a game over for Assassin's Creed fans. Yeah. You have been desynchronized. Awesome. That is it for yeah. Team uh, Gears of War. Okay, uh, let's see. I gotta double check what the Bombardier does here. May slam, may knock back character that he hit. Does not roll doubles. Um, any character that he hits. It just says any character that he hits. So, it does not roll doubles. Yeah, I think he, that would work also with his grenade ability, personally. Bombardier may knock back any character he hits and does not roll doubles, period. After a move action resolves, Bombardier may be given a close combat attack. It's a free action. But only to, but he may only attack character he knocks back in previous turn. Yeah, I think he can just always knock people back. So I think I'm going to use uh, Frag again, which I guess does knock back anyways. He did knock back um, the Red Locust Drone last turn as well. Ooh, okay. So that is pretty nice. So I could move up, punch the Red Locust. What's the Red Locust looking like on defense right now? Uh, I'm guessing it's a 14 with combat reflexes yeah 14 combat reflexes on click three okay so if that's i move their, up i need to roll seven or better that's their defense I can knock them back click except click one well actually first of all we got to roll for willpower okay that's two. all right well that's that so yeah i want some knockback happening i want to get some fodder for uh for Caesar here, I really want him to heal up real badly. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. So we can still choose this guy's square. Sadly, if we could choose like this square, the knockback path would be obvious. Um, but we cannot do that. I would really like, I would really like that to happen for Caesar, just so he can get some swings in, get some mind controls in. Otherwise, we can just move up punch this guy, but he's got combat reflexes, so we actually can't knock him back anyways. Um, and I imagine his combat reflexes is his whole dial, right? Yeah. The no reason not to. Dudes do. Yeah. So, um, let's see. If I throw a grenade, can it be in a hindering square? It has to be a clear square, doesn't it? I don't think so. I think it... Uh... Ranged combat attack targeting all characters occupying or adjacent to the target square. Yeah, you just target a square. Um, doesn't say just okay. choose a well, target square within five let's... squares and line of fire, ignoring characters. So yeah, you get technically. Yeah, let's go ahead and target this square with the uh, with the bombarder right here. That's and okay. see what happens. Yeah, that's square. Um, yeah, let's see it. Nine attack. That'll hit 17s. 17s that will definitely hit the so they'll each drone. Take two damage. And okay. also hits General Ram. He will take one because of toughness. So you okay. click five. And Locust Drone will go to click five as well. And then Locust Drone will get knocked back to here. And General Ram gets knocked mm -hmm. back. Even though he's only dealt one, he gets knocked back three squares. Oh, yeah. actually, it'd be... It'd be on this diagonal. Diagonal, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then, let's see. Is General Ram scary anymore? What does he got now? He still has eight range. Yeah, still eight scary. range. But Blades and Outwit is all he's really got. Phasing, okay. technically, his whole dial. Not a big fan of the eight range. We can just move so we don't take any free damage. These guys can still attack. Um, on click five, I guess they're both on click five. What are their attack values looking like on click five? Uh, the locust drones on, these on click locust fives, they have nine boys. for one. Mm. They still have flurry? No, no, no. All right, do I have six speed with Caesar? I do, perfect, perfect. All right, well, we'll plop Caesar over here just to move him. 
And then let's have Vanguard Lady go She'll just go to there. Uh, we are out of grenades. Deleting the grenade pool. And it's your turn, Simeon. I still have five grenades. Oh uh, boy. Let's see. My Not a fan. Is gone. Uh, what's Caesar rocking defensively? I think I asked you that last turn, but oh, I get sixteen nothing. I get sixteen yeah. nothing, and I still forgot to put him next to somebody so we could mastermind, like a genius. Uh, Ugh. We'll yep. Start off with my locust drone that's next to him. Uh, yeah, my locust drone next to him will attempt to punch, so he's got a nine for one. Ah. Mm, two, thank goodness. Thank attack. goodness. I guess that's technically a twelve, but um, this one does have range of six. So this one will just shoot at the bombardier. Mm. Hopefully, he doesn't have toughness. All right. Or I roll. He does two. not. Okay. He's got willpower. Yeah. Does a 16 hit? I feel like that's not going to. Ooh. Um, through hindering. Nope. 16 will miss. Actually, not through hindering. Okay. I got a 17 willpower. The old bombardier. All right. Let's see. General Ram has eight range. Outwit. Uh... Augustus Cole for close is just a nine for two. Let's see. I think General Ram. One, two, three, four, five. I think he's going to throw a frag grenade. At Vanguard. Mm. Mm. Let's see. What is Vanguard's defense? Uh, she's a 16 super senses. Okay. Just making sure that I'm aiming at somebody with a lower defense than my Augustus Cole. So he'll throw a grenade. My pool will go down to four. Uh, frag grenade is what I'm going to go with. So he has an 11 attack right now. Going for this square. Ah. Mm. That will mm. not hit. He will go to click six. If only she were an assassin and that was a closed attack, then I would be able to give myself an action token and deal <laughs> you an, uh, a damage. <laughs> the, the worst part is I would just reduce that. So, like, it would still. Oh, be, still yeah. toughness. Yeah, it still has toughness on that. That's. Um, rats. Darn. That, Inconvenient for me. It's too bad because. Augustus Cole has invulnerability on his top click, so I would have just mm. shrugged off that blast. But uh, Augustus Cole will attempt to punch Vanguard. He's got a nine for two. All right. There's an attack roll I can handle. Ah, it's still loading for me. Oh, it's a 10. Oh, okay, cool. I'll just roll for Super Senses. That is a 2, so I will take 2, two damage. damage. Going to click 3. And that is everything my team can do, so nobody clears this turn. Hmm. Darn. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I see. There's your 10 now. All right, sweet. Okay. Bombardier needs to roll for willpower. All turns really counting on that. Nope, never mind. All right, cool. Um, then we're going to clear everybody. No, do not knock anybody back this turn, so we'll not be able to do any cool, wacky stuff like that this next turn. Yes, my turn will also be... 100% clearing, so I don't have willpower. I also no longer have mm. leadership, 
and above that I am not adjacent to anyone that I could leadership. So my whole team clears I and see. I don't even have any like support power, so we don't even perplex or anything. I guess General Ram does have outwit and you are within eight range. So I could outwit something on the bottom. Oh no. Um I will does he have a movement power? He does, he has charge. I will outwit charge. Alright. Nice. Nice. Dang, that eight range is pretty killer. Alright, uh, we're gonna start up with the Vanguard using Yeah, absolutely. Um we're gonna have Vanguard use her light object and try to punch you. She's a nine for three. That'll definitely hit. Ooh, big, big 11. It will take one damage. Gets rid of her light. She will get a token. It was not doubles. So, yeah, it doesn't do anything. All right, cool. On click two, um, Bombardier, Augustus Adam has running shot and toughness now. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Caesar... Caesar is on click number four. So he's still 10. We're going to try to flurry this guy. Try to heal ourselves up a little bit. We got two attacks to make something happen. Ooh, that'll hit an 18. That'll definitely hit. And that is all he has for life. Ah. I will heal Caesar back up to click three. Great. All right. Cool. And then, Bombardier, no one, he didn't knock anybody back last turn, so he's got no free attacks to make. So I suppose he will just, I don't know, move up one square, be with, chill with that guy, hmm. plop, just plop on him, plop on him there, say it's your go. Okay. Six. Let me double check and make sure Locust Drone does have six speed. Does Vanguard mm. have charge? Or just Flurry, right? Uh, now? I believe she does now. Uh, she has charge. She's on click three. So my Locust team ability will do nothing. Um. Mm. General Ram has no speed power anymore. And even before that, it was just the throw grenade after he moved thing. Let's... I can't throw a grenade again without potentially damaging Augustus Cole. Uh, it would mm. only deal him one, and it would knock him back, which is fine. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, General Ram is going to throw yet another frag grenade. Oh boy. At Vanguard. So, on his new improved click five, no, click six, he is still a ten attack. Yeah. Ten with blades. So, he will throw a bladed frag grenade. At, mm. uh, Vanguard. Yeah, I'm sure. An 18. That will definitely Ooh, hit. That will definitely oh hit. God. Let's see if we can get a good super senses off. Nope. How much is that? Alright, so it does three damage to the targeted character, and then it'll deal two damage so to Augustus six. Cole. So he'll take one. And then he'll be knocked back three squares. Mm. Which doesn't change his dial, so I guess that's fine. Uh, yeah. Um, he has seven range with running shot, a ten for two. Yeah, we'll have him... Running shot, one, two, three. 
eight, six, yeah. So he can only go one, two, three. He'll go here and target. He only has one target when he's outside of a special box. So he'll just target uh, Bombardier, I think. Okay. Yeah. Will a 15 hit? Oh, very lucky. Got very lucky. That will not hit. Thank All goodness. Right. So I made a ranged combat attack. After actions resolve, I may move up to three squares as a free action, as long as I end in hindering or mm. next to a wall or blocking. So I think... Let's see. That means I could go one, two, three next to that wall. I could go somewhere like that. Or I could just go in this hindering. I think I'm just going to go in that hindering... Go actually go three squares to there in that hindering, and then Locust Drone will finally, after waiting so long, he'll attack the Bombardier because he knows he can do it. He's mm -hmm. a nine for one, a 17. Oh, that will hit, that will hit a 17 for one whole. Go to click damage. two. And that's all I got. Um, I do have the outwit left with uh, General Ram, I believe. Mm. This guy, an action token. General Ram. Yeah, on click six, he still has outwit. He will, I guess, outwit. Vanguard is the only person he can see right now. Maybe that guy? Not really. I think I moved my guy in the way. Um, I'll outwit Vanguard's ability to move. Her charge, you mean? No, just the whole foot symbol. Oh, oh, sure, gotcha. Entire foot symbol's gone. Yeah. Anything. It's involved. just the way it be sometimes. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Mm. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, beginning of the turn. We'll do our roll for willpower. Okay. And then we can do with the Templar team ability, plus one defense or plus one attack. Bombardier is going to take plus one attack. So I believe we can just get rid of the Locust drone. So he's a 10 now. Rolling that attack. We'll hit a 17. That is Didn't need it. Enough. That would have ended up being yeah. a perfect 16. But yeah. That will take out both of my... All yeah, right. Drone. Surprisingly, neither chose to mastermind to anybody with their team ability. How odd. Yes. How odd. Caesar has a big seven squares. He can move. And then do a free mastermind or free mind control. Well, actually, no. You don't have leadership anymore, probably. Do you have any of the following? No, you have outwit, right? Uh, General Ram does have outwit. Caesar do outwit. Yes, anyone with leadership, outwit, perplex, poison, or shape change, I can do a free mind control. Um, I'll be a nine attack, which is not stellar, um, but we'll go for it anyways. So yeah, let's have old Caesarino here. Uh, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. What's your speed on this guy? On General Ram, he is General Ram. A five speed right now. Mm. All right, well, that's a shame. We can't quite mind control him to get him next to her, but that's the way it is. Let's go ahead and mind control you anyways. It is a nine attack. Wow, that will hit a 19. Getting very lucky. Very, very lucky. And then, yeah, let's have him just go ahead and move one, two, three to here. And then he will punch Mr. Augustus Cole. Um, Do I get your... Do you have blades? Do I get your blades? Uh, Not with the current rules that we know. I don't think. Okay. Uh, let me... Okay. Cool. Let me double check. 
Actually, I think you might because close range and power. Mind control is now an attack replacement. Oh, well, but that right. doesn't fall. That and doesn't tell you what an happens after mind movement. control. Right. Because you could like flurry blades, but that's because that's your character attacking. I don't know if you can mind control and then. Yeah, so with what we know currently, uh, no. It would just be the standard. Okay, cool. Standard. I uh, tried. Uh, I tried to twist and bend the rule in my will. He's a but 10 here we are. Here we are. Augustus Cole's 10 for two. 16 toughness. All right, awesome. That'll do. It. That will hit the old 16 toughness. Augustus Which is Cole nice. Will go to click Sweet. Four. And let's have Vanguard just move. One, two, three, forward here. And I'll say it's your go, man. All right. General Ram. Um, I think General Ram. Does Vanguard still have super senses? She has combat reflexes now. Combat reflexes with... What's the value? Uh, 16, so an 18 with combat reflexes. 18, it's asking me a lot. Um, I think we'll attempt to break away to running shot with Augustus Cole first. Oh wait, no, he is no longer okay. able to running shot. So he has flurry, and then when he uses a grenade, if it's a doubles, I add one to the grenade pool. Um, mm. Let's see. I think he'll just flurry then. Uh, yeah, so he's a... Uh, yeah, we'll outwit using General Ram. We'll outwit the combat reflexes. And then Augustus Cole yep. will attempt to flurry. So he's got a whopping 9 for 2. Okay. And he needs... Mm. He's going to need 7s. Oh, there it is. That'll be uh, all she wrote for the Vanguard. That would have done it either way. Dang. Big, big dead. Dang. Uh, then General Ram. He does have range, but he doesn't have a bunch of damage output right now. I think he's just going to throw. Uh, what's Caesar's defense? Right now, he's a 17 with toughness. Okay. 17 toughness. I think I'll do the same damage either way because I'll either deal two damage after toughness with a frag grenade or one penetrating damage with ink and then one more at the end of the next turn when you clear. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, either way, it's doing more than his printed damage though. So he will throw an ink grenade at you. So I'm down to three grenades left in my pool. Nice. Will a 17 hit? No, oh, it doesn't matter, I guess, with grenades. Yes, it will. Let's see. Range so back. I'm taking how much right now? Uh, you take one penetrating damage, and then I place with the ink? hindering train marker in the target square, okay. and then at the beginning of my next turn you take an additional one penetrating damage. Okay. Gotcha. Sweet. Those are my two big actions. Let's have your bombardier roll for willpower. Never going to get it. Uh, he will clear. And then Caesar will clear. And then I will take a damage at the beginning of your turn, right? Yes. So I'll go to quick five. And right. neither of my guys... Just double checking. At no point in any of my dials do I get willpower. So um, I do have Indom on General Ram, though. Let's just uh, outwit Caesar's charge. Does he have charge? Uh, he does not. He has flurry and steel energy, and that is it. Okay. Um, I can't see that guy quite cleanly. So, yeah, I'll just outwit uh the flurry on caesar 
with general ram and then clear both of my guys okay all right sweet bombardier you can move eight squares hmm wish he could move a little farther wish i don't know wish it was a one two three four yeah if i could just move five to here when i do a knockback thing potentially but nope this is where we're moving all right it's a nine to your defense uh 16 toughness still 16 toughness so a whole one damage will get through awesome let's uh see what happens if we roll seven that is we did not we rolled doubles and we missed um but that's not what your team ability does so <laughs> wow look how safe we are uh let's a free damage dang. in exchange for an action token yeah hey man with with grenades there's just nowhere that's safe so we're just gonna move here with caesar and it's your go all right what does caesar have for defense oh, he's got a 16 and that's it just uh, a printed 16. yeah all right we'll have yeah that's rough we'll start with augustus cole attempting to flurry caesar oh flurry forgot about that that's not good Ooh, I imagine that'll hit. Uh, he has a nine, nine attack, so that's right? a 16 for two. For two, that will kill Caesar! <clears throat> I had to. I thought he was going to die a lot earlier. I thought I would be able to get that out of my system way sooner, but no, here we are. Wobble. All right, there's your first story. Oh, I'm a... Is it, is it? <laughs> easy, easy. Cars. Here, Jojo, take the last of my ham on. Yeah, that's great. And my bandana. Um, he'll bandana make his in this second bubble. flurry against the bombardier. Who in okay. this in this scenario we've cooked up is Joseph Joestar, apparently. Oh boy, I guess so. Wow. Yeah. Once again, Joseph will just hairily miss. We'll just survive ever so narrowly um, it would seem i think general ram with the inability to do anything super impressive uh because without many move and attack my blades is almost all but useless um he will just throw another grenade from the pool uh so he'll right. go with an ink grenade this time and it will be hot dog. I see what the, uh, the comments were saying about General Ram. He's just yeah. killing me. He is absolutely terrible hero clicks. It's also bad hero clicks, but just not as bad. I think that will luckily also miss the Bombardier, even though he's only got a 16 defense. Yeah, so it does miss. I think I still place the hindering. So it says place the hindering terrain marker in the target square. Yeah, so I don't get to deal you the one, damage, <coughs> but I do place my. All right my poisonous ink there oh boy now we find poisonous out ink if the bombardier good. is a kid or a squid oh geez please don't ever say that ever again uh let's roll for willpower shall we this is really going to help bombardier if we ever make it uh this will really help him uh with the two-on-one fight scenario but i guess not he'll just go ahead and try to punch augustus cole again he's a nine for two Mm, that will miss, and Bombardier will get a second action token. And beginning of your turn, he will take a damage. Is that correct? Yes, one penetrating damage. Although it doesn't matter, I don't think. Oh boy! All right. Um, oh, Augustus three. Cole will attempt to flurry. I kind of so okay. This is where I really miss the ability, like having a choice to push. Because if I was able to push, I don't get necessarily better with Augustus Cole, but he does get charge in the very next click, and I don't mm. have it on my current click, so uh, it would be nice to have that option. But he will attempt to flurry you, a 9 and right. 2. No. And second attack. Oh, that was... um. Yeah, that was doubles that missed. If I had that oh. other... Ooh, baby, two crit misses for Simi in this game. Um... Man, I don't know. Dice rolls have been pretty mediocre between the two of us. I guess you've probably had the worst ones just because of two crit misses. 
So, man, your dice are starting to abandon you in these games, it would seem. I think it's because I... I mean, I'm still me. very much losing and will lose, but still, it's very it's funny. I, I asked you for see pushing how you... damage, and it was like, here, if... you want pushing damage? <laughs> yeah. Here's a crit miss. Here, here's, your, here's your charge, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> how nice of the game to do that to you. Um... Does this make you feel bad, Simeon, rolling rolling dice? If it makes you feel bad, you can just write into WizKids and say, hey, this makes me feel bad. Can you make crit misses? Just feel give bad. me an action. I'm just going to copy and paste that comment about General Ram and say how this character made me feel bad. Uh, yeah. I have to be in my special square to deal extra damage. Um, yeah, General Ram. Gonna General Ram. Use one of my last grenades. I'm down to one grenade. I'm going to try and frag Oh, boy. You. So it will be... Oh, boy. It will be a 10 attack for potentially 3 damage on your guy and potentially 2 damage on Augustus Cole. And oh, nice. 17 oh, nice. Augustus okay. Cole. Well, that will miss Augustus Cole. I don't know if it matters, though. 16 what am i at um the bombardier is at a 16 so he will take three damage you said uh yes toughness will reduce it by one so he'll go to click five still in it in it to win it the old bombardier wowza so it is a ranged combat attack targeting all characters occupying or adjacent yeah. to the target square and since augustus cole crit missed onto his energy shield deflection that roll missed him by one wow so was, yeah that's, a, that's actually pretty helpful for you in the long run i guess he would have taken one damage either way whether he crit missed or was stayed on toughness and did that but still yeah, it's pretty true. nice for him yeah he, the net result would have been the same but it's very good that it missed him yeah. now because it would have dropped him to his last click so yes right would have been awful um, okay. Well, with no more willpower to roll for, I just get to clear this turn. And then I get to do the same, which is very exciting. Oh, very exciting. I will now uh, flurry with the Bombardier. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, boy. I don't imagine you have an 11 attack. Does a... I have a 14. That would be... I have a 10 attack. That'd be a 14. Okay. That misses by exactly... Imagine one. that misses. Wow. Let's try to roll a 5. There's uh, a 7. That cool. will indeed hit. How much that damage? Will, I'll hit you for an entire... One one whole damage, okay. <laughs> Simeon. One entire damage. Uh, uh, and then it is your turn. He will go to click 6. Wowzer. Uh, on click <laughs> Amazing. Six. I also have charge with an 8 attack for now, 1 damage. So I will attempt to flurry you with Ooh. my 8 for 1. Let's you, uh, thankfully, will need a crit hit to deal damage to the Bombardier. Ooh. We'll see if I can crit miss myself to death yeah. instead. Likely uh, possibility. That's not a crit hit, so uh, does a 15 hit, though? No. It will hit, yes. Ah, and a three. Ooh, that was close. Does a three hit? Three will hit. Three will miss. All right. Um, since Augustus Cole isn't actually part of the the Locust Horde, General Ram is just going to throw his last frag grenade at the Bombardier. Here we go. The last grenade, ladies and gentlemen. All life uh, for we'll comment, like, hey, You let Simeon use like 20 grenades. Like, he doesn't have 20 grenades. He only has like four. I'm like, oh, no, fine. It, it feels like it. All right. It, dude, it's insane. All right. Let's uh, do it up. That is a 17. 17? Um, I am exactly a 17. The Bombardier is exactly a 17. And that will be all she wrote for the Bombardier. And Augustus Cole. Man, uh, close was an 18 on that click, so he actually <laughs> somehow oh survives God. the blast. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. It was a closer game than I expected between, uh, what's it called? Gears of War and Assassin's Creed, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. 
Uh, as always, another epic Golden Age Brawl has come to a close. Remember, you can vote for what figures we use on our teams on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, in the comments section of this video. Next week, I'm going to build from the first Hobbit set, and Simeon will be building from the first Star Trek Tactics set. That's the set with ships. So both uh, HC Realms and Clicks Nexus have the Indie tab in kind of the middle there. They're sort of near each other. It's kind of not really. Hobbit is right next to a Star Trek Tactics 2 set. Uh, Star Trek Tactics we're building out of is the first Star Trek Tactics from that set. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join the Patreon uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to support the channel. We obviously get literally nothing from YouTube. Even if we had uh, quadruple the amount of subscribers, we would still get literally nothing from YouTube. So any support <laughs> helps us make more content each week. So we really appreciate uh, your viewership, everybody. And, you know, if you want to share this around and sort of enjoyed us mugging through the new rules, then, yeah, go ahead and tell other people that, hey, these guys are playing with the new rules. If you want to sort of see how they're going to be in action, uh, check them out. But that is all I have to say. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit set, so just the first Hobbit. Um, and then Star Trek Tactics number one is the figures Simeon will build from. As yes. always, happy trails. Yes. <laughs>